It's Cliff Taylor and the night is young. Guess who's coming? Direct from Mexico, Tex-Mex, Los Lobos, la 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 la, and number one BGs. Also, Pill, P-I-L, with Black Wonderful Life. Taylor here. Good evening. It's 1966 all over at MTV. Guess who's coming up? Millions Like Us and Kiss. Woo! And Jackie E. Marcosa. Don't go away. Billy Idol. Money, 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 money.
Hell. Oh, I tell you, the numbers just aren't figuring. I don't know if we can keep in, in business, keep the doors open at this pace. Hell, I gotta sell some camels. We sold any camels today? I don't know. I, I don't think we're gonna survive at the desert at this rate. I, why aren't you covered up? I oh, forget it. Business is better that way anyway. I don't know. I, what's that? A knock on the door? We got a customer? What? Complaint? Yeah, you got a complaint, huh? Oh, okay. What? Huh? What's that? Refund? You want a refund? I'll give you a refund. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Retreads? Sorry, we don't do retreads. Anyway, well, look, uh, well, I tell you, we got to make some money. Well, I got a new idea. Maybe we can stuff some camel meat into some dog food tins and make some money that way. A word from our sponsor. Good evening. Welcome to our show. We'd just like to say that if you're looking to get rid of your dog early on in life because he's a big royal pain in the butt, feed your dog dog liver and beef. Guarantee a coronary for him early on in life. It's 99.9% .9 fat and really good for your dog. Remember, feed your dog dog. Lots of good additives like <coughs> lamb <coughs> and camel. But don't tell your dog. Now, back to Abdul's Camelot. Well, hopefully we can make some money. I, <laughs> there's got to be a way. There's just got to be a way. I cannot survive on this kind of money. I'm telling you, I... Let me give you a word of advice, if I may. This is the Moroccan Express card. Don't leave home without it. Morocco, Abdul Fez here. Hey, great. Guess who's going to be coming up this hour? Brian Ferry. You surprised? I am an Aztec camera. Also, Climby Fisher and LL Cool J. I need love. Heard that in the elevator lately? Great. Hey, what's this? Breathing this world's air is death dealing. Who put this on my piano? Watchtower announcing Jehovah's kingdom. How you can make true friends. Someone must be trying to tell me something. Are you refusing to breathe this world's death dealing air? Well, it must not be smog. Maybe I should turn the picture. 
Well, what is this couple doing? What do you do when whiffs of this world's air drift your way? Are they talking about the smog in Los Angeles? Somehow, I don't think so. The ruler of the air has seen to it that this world's propaganda and advertising make you feel unfulfilled if you do not have an abundance of material possessions. This aspect of the world's air can intoxicate you with the idea that these are the big things in life. Have you ever been affected by this materialistic air? Well, I'd like to sell more camels. Does that mean anything? The Bible says, no fornicator of unclean persons or greedy persons, which means being a, What? An idolater? That couldn't be me, could it? But what is an I, it is, I don't, greed may involve the virtual worshiping of money and its power and influence. I've never worshiped money. I've only needed a few million to get by. If you put the getting of a new automobile, a video cassette recorder, or any of the other material things ahead of increasing your opportunities, well, you are breathing the world's dirty air. If you are seeking advanced education or a lucrative job, are you doing so to get rich and have more material advantages than you need? Well, what do you say? I'll tell you what, you figure it out. Oh, hello, how are you? Gee, I didn't know we were on camera. Well, since we are, maybe I'll take some time to go over some of my favorite little news items because honestly, I wouldn't want you to think here at MTV that it's all just Toyland. We do have minds here, we do think, and we do have concerns about the world. And one of my concerns is, do you know who this man is? That's the first Frankenstein. Isn't he great? I bet you a lot of people didn't know that. Well, it, it matters to me, honestly, I'm concerned. That's the first Frankenstein. Now, I've got some stories here that I want to show you. Spain advises be nice to tourists. Spain is promoting smiles as well as sun and sea in an effort to overtake the United States as the world's number one earner of tourist revenue. Well, I wonder if we have any Spanish people watching. I think we do. I know we do, in fact. Is that really true? Do they really want to be the number one tourist capital in the world? Hard to figure out, but it's true. Now, I wonder if you've seen this item. Bizarre exit from Geneva for Iran counselor official. Look at him, he's going out on a stretcher. Can you think of a better way? You figure it out. Well, look, I've just got a lot of really great things here to talk about, honest to God. Um, here's something. While Britain may be back on the itinerary for Americans coming over here to Europe, as you know, they're very, very afraid because of the threats and uh, terrorists. And why would they be afraid of the terrorists? Well, you figure it out. But it says, if hijackers board the plane, it says, stay calm, breathe deeply, and don't make eye contact with a terrorist. Can you imagine? Hello, hi. Hey, can I make some eye contact with you? I don't know, you be the judge. Well, look, we've got a lot more to talk about. We've got a lot of fun things to in store for you. Please don't go away. We've got more music right after this. Taylor here for Metal Television. Hey, guess what? Living in a box. What a title. I love that. White Snake. Woo! And the Hooters. And also, Pet Shop Boys. Rent. Lee Lewis at the <laughs> I'm almost as old as him too I'll tell you oh my god well we're just having a great time here 
I don't see why we should stop because I'm having such fun and I've got so many wonderful, wonderful news items to read for you. Have a look at this. I really, really love New York and I have to read this article for you. April Fool in New York. Are you kidding? The trouble with April Fool's Day in New York City, of course, is that there's no way of telling who's kidding and who's not. Even on Tuesday, just your average March 31st, Phil Clemens reports seeing two penguins getting into a limousine outside the Intercontinental Hotel. No one looked up. He wasn't kidding. Their guests, a spokesman for the hotel explained of the sighting, adding that the penguins had been ordering platters of herring from room service. The two, Pete and Penny, work at SeaWorld in Florida and were in New York on a promotional tour. Rain did not deter Bob Gulab from selling Bob's Lucky Potatoes on Wall Street. He used to be kidding about the Lucky Potatoes, which he sells from a suitcase at the corner of Liberty Street and Broadway. Not anymore. Mr. Gulab says he makes as much as a hundred a day selling his potatoes, which he makes marks with a felt tip pen to superstitious stockbrokers. This may sound peculiar, but I sprinkle them with a little lucky water from my grandmother's well, he said. I believe him. There are guys making 500000 a year walking around here with lucky potatoes in their suits, he said. The price of potato is, well, whatever customers wish to give. He once received a $200 tip from a stockbroker who hit a big one with a potato in his pocket. Well, I bet you, I bet you the computers are jumping out of the windows now. I'm from Pennsylvania, he said, and I'll tell you something. If you did this in Pittsburgh, they'd lock you up. Ha, I love that. Well, time doesn't wait for anyone. I'll, I'll come back to this story. There's more there. It's just wonderful. But I wanted to show you this. Christmas is coming. That's right. The holidays, all the holidays, everybody parties in December. That's right. And guess what? We've got toys happening here. Now, I wanted to go over this with you because, as you know, I love toys. I'm a big toy fan. And I thought we'd just sort of peruse through the toy magazine here. Now, take a look at this. Here's little Tommy on his little toy thing here. And there he is with his little toy train. Isn't that cute? Nothing really wrong with that. Fairly innocuous, right? Well, you know me. But here we come up to the three-year-olds, and what do they got? They've got Uzis and machine guns, and here's a warplane, and that's a tank, and look, there's G.I. Joe with a 60 caliber on his Jeep. We've got, look at all these. We've got the Warriors. Oh, wow, that is really incredible. Cowboy guns, all kinds of stuff there. Isn't that great? Now we get to the girls, and what do we have? We've got Dolly Land, and look, she's pushing a vacuum cleaner. Is that sexist? You be the judge. Isn't that great? And we've got all kinds there's a dolly for her and little dolls and does that look a little bit different from that last page we looked at? Well, I don't know. You figure it out. And here we are to the next one. Back to the boys. What's he got? He's boxing its ears off. That's really great. What's she have? A baby carriage. That's wonderful. And what's she doing? There's a little early life conditioning. She's pushing a baby carriage too. I really like this. This is really great, isn't it? Back to the boys again. Hey, laser gun and tank laser. And there's helicopter time. Oh, this is just wonderful. He's got a Superman suit on. He's carrying a sword. He's got his laser gun. That's really fantastic. That's really great, isn't it? And as we turn on, he's on a motorcycle. What's she on? A tricycle. That's really great. Well, I think you get my pitch, don't you? Um, this is just wonderful. Yeah, here we are. Back to the girls, Barbie and Ken all the way. I love it. That's really wonderful. Well, I want to tell you, I hope you really do have happy, happy holidays. Um, as you know, this is my last week here. That's right. If you want me back, you're going to have to petition the owners, the advertisers, the president of the corporation, everybody. You're going to have to send in all those bags of mail to this address, MTV Europe. Those girls upstairs are really cooking. They had that ready. 40 Conduit Street, London, W1R9FB. Now get those letters in because I tell you, they had to hire a mail train. I said this yesterday to get all those bags of mail down to my address in Kent. And honest to God, I read every single letter. <laughs> so please get those letters in. They'll get to me even after I'm gone. Now, stay tuned for this next video. I really like this one.
gang, 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 gang. Yeah, lovely. East End. Hey, guess who's coming? Pink Floyd. Yeah, they're still going. And Bon Jovi with The Cure. Yeah, don't go to sleep because the nits are going to be on with In the Dutch Mountains. And now it's time for... Cliff Taylor in Hollywood. Hi, how you doing? I'm in Hollywood, if you hadn't already noticed. Can you move that magazine up just a little bit more? That's right, take the flag away. It's Hollywood time here. Flesh, 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 that's it. Hey, guess what? I've brought in your favorite paper, but it's giving you the sun. That's right. A little bit of English perspective about what Hollywood's all about. That's what I'm going to give you today. Well, you can't say you didn't hear it here first, did you? Guess what? Pepsi has dropped David Bowie. I'm telling you, they've dropped him like a hot potato. Now, you've probably been keeping up with the details, so I won't give you all the cringing facts again, but you be the judge. Was, Texie judge, was Pepsi judging him fairly, or was it guilty? You be the judge, write me a letter, and let me know I'm interested, okay? Great. Now let's move right along here, okay? We're going to be skipping page three. I'm sorry, but you are too young to be looking at that. No, I'm kidding. We've got something right here that's really incredible. This is unbelievable. Now, I want to tell you that Hollywood's not just made up of movie moguls and Hollywood films. The music business is in Hollywood, too, and I report it all here at Cliff Taylor in Hollywood. Go on out to Hollywood sometime. Check it out. You'll meet a lot of music people. You've got two communities out there. You've got the record labels. You've got the movie companies. And look at this. Bitter Beck branded Mick a meanie. Unbelievable. That's Jeff Beck. He's mad at tight Mick. And he says Jeff Beck lashed out at Mick Jagger last night when the branded the Rolling Stones singer a miser. Can you believe that? The outburst came after Bazaar revealed that Beck 43 ruined Jagger's debut solo tour by quitting at the last minute. Bitter Beck storms. I quit the tour because Mick only offered me peanuts to play with him. And it was laughable, an insult. I wanted to teach him a lesson because I believe if you want the best, you have to pay for the best. Well, they paid for the best here, didn't they? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Great. And the kind of money he offered me was what you pay an ordinary session musician. And, and Jeff Beck quotes, Mick's problem is that he's a meanie. He's no better than a glorified accountant. Well, he's old enough to be an accountant. He counts every single penny for someone with his money. I can't believe how tight he is. But Beck, one of the world's top guitars, says he is still interested in joining 44-year-old Jagger. <laughs> you think Jagger will have him back after that? You be the judge. All right, great. And what else is here? Booby Trap scares Bridget. Bridget Nielsen is scared stiff of getting on a plane after being told that her fake boobs could burst. <laughs> a friend of Leggy Dane, the Leggy Dane who had silicon implants to expand her chest size, uh, said to her that her chest size is a 40, told me Bridget has been told the cabin pressure in a plane could cause serious damage to her boobs, and now she's terrified. My God. But Bridget needs to travel all over the world in her job, and she's being persuaded to see a hypnotist to help her. Top plastic surgeon Dev Basra commented last night, Bridget has obviously heard horror stories about the old type of breast implants, but her operation, which at over 1,500 pounds is far more sophisticated, so it should be all right. Isn't that great? Well, we're going to have to end there. 
But I want to tell you, it's been really a lovely time here with Cliff Taylor in Hollywood. And I'm just having a lot of fun. Now listen, don't go to sleep because we've got more music, more music with the number one A1 greatest music channel in the world, MTV. So I'm going to wave goodbye. Stay up for our next segment. I love you. You're plugged into number one. Good evening. Cliff Taylor here for another crazy evening. Don't go away. You know who's coming? Ryan Ferry and Aztec Camera. Straight from Aztec land. Desireless. QB40. Maybe tomorrow. If you're ever sad or you're lonely I can give you love that you want to If you're ever in need or lonely You can always count, I'll be there Call me, maybe it's late but just call me don't hesitate, you just call me, tell me and I'll be around. Whoa, boy, did I get carried away with that one. How are you? Welcome to our show. This is the big weekend extravaganza. Welcome to MTV. Music television, 24 hours a day, number one in the world. That's us. You're tuned in, and you can tune off to this great, great music that we've got for you tonight. Honest to God, we've got songs that are going to really make you swing. But I'd like to entertain you for a little bit, if I may. Will you allow me to entertain you? You don't mind, do you? Okay. Look, you sitting on the couch? Great. Grab that beer, grab that Coke, grab whatever you're drinking, grab that girl. I don't care what it is you got to take to be comfortable, but sit down, turn up the volume, okay? And let me entertain you. All right? Great. You ready for this one? Okay. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. If you're ever sad or you're lonely, I can give you love you've been waiting <laughs> If you're ever in need for romance I'd be there, you just wait and see now Call me